Hey Serge 357 today we are going to use two new vocabulary words, categorical variables and continuous variables. We will be using a lot of the same commands we've been using, but we are going to try to draw some conclusions about what is the best command to use if you want to look at a categorical variable and what are the best commands if you want to look at a continuous variable. So we can see here I have put in tab degree and I think you'll agree with me this is a pretty useful way to look at it. We can see about half of the people got a high school diploma as their highest degree, 7.33% got an associate's degree, 186 got a bachelor's. We can see 63% of people total got a high school diploma or less which means for the remaining a little bit more than a third, they got some kind of college degree, whether it's associates, bachelors, or a graduate degree of some kind. So this is a pretty useful way to look at this variable. This is a categorical variable. The answers are a handful of categories, not a steady continuous stream of numbers. Let's use the same command for a continuous variable. A continuous variable is age where instead of having somebody pick from categories like young, middle-aged, old, or 20s, 30s, 40s, we just said, how old are you? And we've recorded their ages from 18 all the way up to 89 or older. When we use tab for a continuous variable, it's not the most useful. Um, we can do it for a different one for education. It gives us years of education. And I mean, in this case, it's a little bit interesting to see how there are clusters at 12 years of education, 14, 16. So it looks like a lot of people who went to school got a high school diploma or they were trying to get a degree of some kind and they did it. Um, but for a continuous variable in general, instead of using tab as a command, it tends to be more useful to use sum. So now I've put in the same variable, education, and I've used sum instead of tab. It tells me the mean number of years of education is 13.69. Here's my standard deviation, my minimum, my maximum. Or I can do the same for age, and it will tell me that the mean age is a little older than 49. I have a standard deviation, minimum, maximum. This is more useful for a continuous variable than tab. So start thinking of tab for categorical, sum for continuous. These were just if we're looking at one variable at a time. Let's say I want to look at two variables at a time. I want to look at both categorical variables, two categorical variables. So I put in here Paul views sex comma call. You can see the command there. Down the side we have your political views. Across the top we have the respondent sex. And it's tabulating it in a column. So we can see what percent of men, or rather males, are extremely liberal, liberal, and so on. We can see overall moderate is the biggest category for each. There's slightly fewer, or rather a smaller percentage of males who identify as moderate compared to females. Now we could do this for a continuous variable. That's possible. So here I'm doing age and sex. So that's a continuous and a categorical variable. And it's giving me this big table. So Stata will let you do it if you, if you want to put into, um, if you want to put in two categorical variables, it'll let you. If you want to put in a categorical and a continuous, there's nothing wrong with doing it. In fact, 
it's possible you're looking, you know, you were like, how many people exactly are 28 years old and male? I want to get a number. Um, so you could do it. It's just usually not the most useful way to do it. So let's say you want to do a categorical and a continuous variable together. Um, remember, for two categoricals, we use tab for one categorical, one continuous. We'll start with tab, Paul views, that's our categorical, comma, SU for sum or summarize, and then age, which is our continuous variable. So now, instead of getting a big table like we did before, um, where you have to scroll a whole lot and you can't look and see patterns very easily, you can just look here and see for each type of political view, what is the mean age, what is the standard deviation, and it's showing us how many people are within that category of political views. So again, we can see that most people are moderate. And we can also see that as you start to get into conservative and extremely conservative, you start to get a little bit older. Um, we could do that with another categorical and continuous variable using years of education. And now we can see the average or rather mean years of education and the standard deviation for people with each type of political views. So that is a way to do a, um, a categorical and a continuous variable at the same time. Tab your categorical variable, comma, SU, parentheses, continuous variable. There's one more way we're going to do this. Let's say we want to see three different categorical variables. Okay, so my three categorical variables I have here are sex, Paul views, Prez 12, and I'm just going to hit enter so you can see what happens and then I'll talk about it. So I said by sort and then sex, that's my first categorical variable. Let's look and see how sex showed up. So sex, male, and then we have this whole table that doesn't mention sex in it at all. Sex, female, and a second table. I said colon, tab, pal views, pres 12, comma, row. These tables look like exactly what I would get if I put in the command tab pres12 or Paul views pres12 comma row. But instead of giving me one table, it's given me two tables and they're broken down by sex. So the first table is only males and it gives us political views, which was the first variable I typed. Did you vote for Obama or Romney, which was the second variable I typed. And then it tabulates it in a row. So we can see extremely liberal males. Remember, we're looking at males. Out of extremely liberal males, 88.57% went to Obama. Not surprising, they're liberal, right? Obama won this election, so it's probably not shocking that moderates tended to go for Obama. And then once we get down to conservatives, it's probably not surprising that conservative males chose Romney over Obama. And now we can see the same thing for females down here. And it's pretty similar patterns. Among extremely liberals, they mostly went for Obama. Moderates still mostly went for Obama. He was the winner of that election. And then conservatives, of course, went more for Romney. So that last command, just to review it again, by sort, variable one, colon, tab, Paul views, pres 12, comma, row. So variable two, variable three, comma, row. You could do comma, call for column. 
and these were for three categorical variables. Okay, that is all we're doing right now. I hope you can understand the difference between a categorical and a continuous variable. In general, when you're doing categorical, you want to do tab. When you are doing continuous, you want to do sum or summarize. And there are ways you can combine them as we saw, like when we did tab. So it, we did tab for our categorical and then sum SU actually for our continuous here. Okay, I will meet you in the next video and we will learn more.